Hey, welcome to The Primal Show. I'm here with Heath Squire and I'm Gary Collins. And today we're going to be talking about brain function and depression since it's a timely subject. You know, unfortunately with the passing of Robin Williams a couple days ago, uh, it's come to the forefront again and I'm also a veteran. And there's a lot of uh, studies coming back in research uh, that the suicide rates of veterans coming back from overseas deployments is at an all-time high. And that's directly tied to, uh, you know, post-traumatic stress syndrome and also, or disorder, and also depression. So I think it's a good subject to talk about and how you can change some of your uh, brain function through proper diet and some supplementation. I know, Heath, you've played around a lot with it. Um, what are some of the things that you've used and some things you've noticed uh, when you changed your diet as far as brain function? Um, I really had an issue specifically with, uh, I would call it brain fog. Um, just, I, 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 and it was from mainly gluten. Um, and, and I attribute it mainly to, um, just after, as I started eliminating things from my diet, that brain fog ended up clearing, clear, clearing out. But as I got older, not, I got rid of the brain fog, but then I started having issues with stress and kind of, you know, having some forms of depression because you have so much stress in your everyday life that yeah. it sometimes is overwhelming. So after doing a little bit of research, two things that I found that really helped me were uh, dopa, dopa bean and 5-HTP. Um, and it's kind of a two prong attack uh, I found in that and these two things worked for me. I don't know if they'll work for everybody, but um, the Dopamine specifically increases uh, dopamine in your brain, uh, causing you to, you know, just have a better sense of well-being, as well as uh, 5-HTP uh, boosting serotonin. And between these two, you know, um, I was really able to kind of combat, you know, the times when I was kind of feeling down and feeling more stressed out. I was able to really uh, help myself through those periods. And I think those two supplements would really help a lot of people. Um, I did quite a bit of research and uh, I found and, and, and the research really was right. I mean, I, I did feel so much better after supplementing with those during the times that I had depression. But um, so... You know, I think cleaning up your diet is a huge part. Uh, exercise um, for myself also really, you know, kind of boost serotonin and dopamine and then the supplements uh, for myself. How about you, Gary? What, what have you found? Well, um, one of the keys that I need people to understand is serotonin obviously is the feel-good hormone. And 85% of it is produced in your gut. Uh, most people think that serotonin is produced in your brain. But actually, that's where healing your gut, you know, getting a good probiotic, having good gut flora uh, will make your mood improve. And I've seen it with my clients. I've seen it with myself. I come from two sides. Both sides of my family suffer from depression. And I didn't miss it. I, I got it. And later, as I age, it got worse. And I want to make this very clear, too, is just by changing your diet and supplements is not a cure for depression. And don't think that. There's a lot of holistic practitioners out there who can claim who are claiming they can cure depression with a supplement and diet change. And I, I think that's very dangerous and naive of them to kind of say that. Uh, depression is a very serious condition. Um, and I have personal experience with it. And uh, I'll tell you, can you do better, as I'm sure you found? Sure, you can do better. But it is not a cure. And don't think it I, – I know some people have and their depression has gone away. But I, I would say that's the exception and not the rule. You're still going to have, I would say for the majority, you're still going to have bouts of depression. I think any human being will. I think that's kind of a natural phenomenon that we just don't quite understand. And with that, I think understanding and knowing that when you're going through a bout of depression, it's different than just being bummed out. There's yeah. this line that you cross, and it's, it's where you start to see hopelessness, I guess, is the best way to, to put it. You don't think there's solution to problems, or you think your life is unfixable. And when you hit that point, you just have to realize it. And that's what I've done with myself is going, okay, I know what's going on right now, and I can feel it. And, and the best way I deal with it actually is to get outside and make myself busy. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll stay in the house, and I'm like, okay – and I just kind of hibernate for a little bit and it helps me out so it depends but one of the best things I've found is just get out 
just get outside, enjoy yourself, breathe some fresh air, get some exercise, and that naturally will release serotonin and dopamine as well as going out and getting some exercise. That's why exercise is so important for mental health because it gets the blood flowing. Yes. And that's what we need to get to our brain is blood flow. That's the key to proper brain function is blood flow to the brain and getting those proper nutrients to the brain and oxygen. Obviously, oxygen is vital for brain, brain function. You can't survive. Your brain dies pretty quickly without oxygen. We know this. Right. So that's the whole point of exercise. Yeah, I think a really high, like a high intensity workout really does wonders, um, especially, you know, for boosting serotonin and dopamine, um, I found. I mean, uh, the other thing, too, for oxygenation, um, while we don't uh, condone eating wheat, you know, as a part of a paleo primal kind of template, wheatgrass is uh, amazing for just oxygenating the blood in general. Um, it's something that I've used for years. And although I can't have gluten at all, there is no gluten in wheatgrass in and of exactly. itself. And there's a ton of health benefits from it. So it's something that I highly recommend from, you know, just oxygenating your blood. So um, what, what have you found? Like, I mean, what... It, have, you said you struggled with depression a little bit. I mean, what have you found outside of exercise? Do you supplement with anything? or? Um, yeah, I've used uh, St. John's wort here and there, and I've used uh, maca, pow maca powder. Right. Uh, and I noticed that helps. Um, but I, it's a lifelong battle. I didn't know I had it until much later in life because I just didn't know. And you know, I still deal with it. I mean, it, it hasn't gone away. That's what I mean. I've cleaned up my diet and people look at me and they go, you're in shape, you're older. It hasn't gone away. I still battle it. And it's a constant battle. And I think that is a key thing to, to kind of see with Robin Williams. I mean, he had been battling depression for quite a bit, but most people didn't know about it. Sure. And, and I think you will see uh, with people who have had drug addictions, that depression is even a bigger battle because what you're doing is you're you're stimulating those those neurotransmitters that dopamine that GABA you know the 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 feel good the serotonin and what that's what drugs stimulating drugs do is and what happens is your brain chemistry changes and you burn those receptors out by flooding your brain with all these feel good hormones that heighten your 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 mood and you know, with people who have had drug addiction, I've seen this because I have. I also have people who have abused drugs in my family as well, and it's tougher for them. And I think that's something to realize. I'm no psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist, and I don't pretend to be. I just go by personal experience and what I've witnessed. And I think for people uh, fighting addictions, I think it's important that they do look for something, a supplement or a way to help them deal with it because they're going to struggle even more than the average person in general. Do you think it's possible to increase the serotonin and dopamine levels by supplementing with like, you know, dopamine and 5-HTP? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's just hard. It's uh, Supplements are such an iffy for different people because everyone's different. So what will work for you and what for work for me may be something else. So you kind of have to experiment with the supplements. And with that, there's always a risk. If you're taking um, uh, psychotropics, uh, you know, pharmaceutical antidepressant drugs, you have to be real careful. You start mixing supplements, and you could have adverse effects. Right. And you don't want that. So, you know, like I said, when it comes to this issue, I just want to give people some some basic information from experience because you do something wrong, and the results could be catastrophic. You know, and that's why you have to be really, really careful. Um, I do not recommend people take supplements who are on uh, prescription drugs from their doctor for depression. Yeah, you have to work that out with your doctor. Don't experiment. Um, you know, for people who are just looking for mood mood boosters, I, I don't see a problem with it. I don't think it's uh, you know, I don't think there's some severe drawbacks to it. But always be careful. It's just like anything. You know, don't go out there and take five, you know, capsules of St. John's work because you want to be happy for the next day. I mean, test it. Yeah, and I think, you know, there are a lot of, you know, practitioners out there that 
do have some great, you know, homeopathic or supplements. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people are getting better. So we don't want to, you know, discredit any of those people helping no. people. But what no. we're talking about is if that's not working for you and you're still depressed, you know, seek medical help, you know, and it's um, because it, you can feel better, you know, one way or another. We I think it's with like, like anything, always start natural first. And if you've, you know, run out of all options, then go medical, you know, because it's there for a reason. Um, and um, there's no reason to feel depressed. There really isn't. I mean, there, there is help out there and, you know, you don't have to feel hopeless. And there are a lot of natural things you can do to, to resolve many issues. So, um, you know, we want to just, you know, we wanted to put this show together to talk about, you know, just you don't have to feel horrible every day waking up and hopeless. There's so many great things to experience and, and it's better to focus on the positive. So. Well, and I think a great way of dealing with it, which I've done all my life, and I didn't even know it, was was focusing in on my health, um, yeah. trying to always improve my health. And I always did it. I didn't realize if I was doing it through exercise. Uh, it was kind of my therapy. Um, you know, I had a very stressful job throughout my life and being in the military and, and uh, a difficult upbringing. And, you know, I didn't realize I was using these as outlets. And I'll tell you what, by getting out there and going and exercising or competing, it was just a godsend for me. It really helped me cope with it. It gave me an outlet. And I think that's really important for people to understand too how simple it can be just by not letting it take over and get out there and do something and stay positive and try and, uh, you know, don't isolate yourself. Go find help. I mean, if you're having suicidal thoughts, you need to find help. Don't sit there and, and, and you know, think you can tackle it on your own. That's what people are for. That's what friends are for, family, practitioners, you know. And I think that's very important. I think a lot of us, uh, I'm pig-headed, you know, and I sit there and go, I can take care of it. I can do this all on my own. And there came a point where I realized I couldn't. You know, it was just certain points in my life became overwhelming. And that's everyone. And I think people need to understand that. I think people, the shame aspect of it is something that is a detriment. You know, people sure. think it's, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're probably, I mean, I was embarrassed once I kind of found out what I was suffering from. And, you know, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm one of those. And it wasn't that. I, I soon realized I'm one of tens of millions of people uh, that suffer the same thing. I think that's important too, just to realize that you're not the only person out there. This is this is a problem that a lot of people deal with. Yeah, no, I agree. And um, uh, just do some research on your own, and uh, you know, try try things out. And if it's not working for you, seek help. So, but um, feel free to email Gary or I uh, any questions you might have regarding health, and we will help you however you know we can. And um, uh, email me at Heath at theprimalshow.com and Gary at theprimalshow.com. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We are, you know, going to be touching on all sorts of health topics and having all sorts of doctors and guest hosts on. So stay up to date with all of our shows. And um, yeah, we'll uh, talk to you all soon.